I've never gone from bullish to bearish to bullish so quick in such a short period of time. I started my day, charts were up, looking good, getting ready to start my day, sat at the computer, saw the SEC news, was like, what in the world? Saw the charts, what is going on? And then I think everybody kind of on this similar short-term journey, and then I realized what this headline, what this news was actually saying so there's the volatility. This is a, a one-hour chart. You can see Bitcoin reacting to what's going on. Here's the initial headline. This is where I, f I fell into the headline trap, everybody. The trap that I, that I say not to fall into just in SEC spot, or SEC says spot Bitcoin ETF filings are inadequate. That looks terrible, right? And I tweeted pretty quickly. I said, just in SEC says spot Bitcoin ETF filings are not good enough. Gary does it again. There it is. And that's the headline. I mean, this is the headline. SEC says spot Bitcoin ETF filings are inadequate. Wall Street Journal breaking it down. So I want to go over the initial news and then I want to dig into this insanely large silver lining that is kind of integrated into this news. And after we do that, I do want to look at the Bitcoin charts to kind of talk about how it's reacting and what I'm watching on the Bitcoin charts because from a psychological market perspective, this is going to be kind of fun to watch play out now as this news is digested in the short term. So this is all kind of just happening right now. Let's go to this article. So here's what, what has happened. The SEC said a recent wave of applications filed by asset managers to launch spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds are inadequate, according to people familiar with the matter. The agency informed exchanges NASDAQ and CBOE Global Markets, which filed the applications on behalf of asset managers, including BlackRock and Fidelity Investments, that the filings aren't sufficiently clear and comprehensive, the people said. So this is straight up just looking like, man, this, this is just a, a rejection, right? And it's almost like when we're looking at the Bitcoin charts, it's almost like people are, as they're reading the article, this, like, this candle is happening. And it's like they're not... It's almost like the article and the news is not being completely read, and then the market reacts after it is completely read. A wave of traditional and crypto asset managers followed in BlackRock's footsteps. Fidelity Investments, Kathy Woods, ARK Investment Management, Invesco, Wisdom Tree, you get it, everybody. All these ETFs in recent days being filed for. Investors and analysts viewed the bid by the world's largest money manager as the best hope yet for a spot Bitcoin ETF, partly because of its near-perfect record seeing applications through. So now we're going to get to the twist. It, it's looking really bad, right, for the recent weeks of headlines, the bullish headlines about ETFs. SEC looks like they're shooting it down, but here we go. Some industry watchers predicted that BlackRock's filing would appease the SEC's concerns through an agreement to share surveillance of a spot Bitcoin trading platform at NASDAQ, which would list the ETF. The SEC told the exchanges that it returned the filings because they didn't name the spot Bitcoin exchange with which they are expected to have a surveillance sharing agreement. That's, that's all. That's why. Or provide enough information about the details of those surveillance arrangements. Asset managers can update the language and refile. So it's... It's just like that last little paragraph. A CBOE spokeswoman said it plans to update and refile. NASDAQ and the SEC declined to comment. So that's, that's the whole point with what's going on here. So I quickly retweeted and I just, I did a kind of an update to my first tweet. And I basically highlighted that point that we just read in the Wall Street Journal. They're stating that the filing was not satisfactory due to lack of specific details regarding surveillance sharing agreements with the spot Bitcoin ex exchange spot Bitcoin exchanges. Asset managers have the opportunity to update the language and refile their applications, indicating that there's still a chance for these ETFs to be approved in the future. So this is kind of an ongoing process, right? Uh, initially, I think the headline is, is just really bad. And who knows? Maybe it, maybe it will be flat out denied and declined uh, uh, eventually, right? But right now, it's still ongoing. And this is in a, in a process right now. And the fact that it can be refiled uh, I think is going to translate to more of a bullish narrative right now instead of just just a straight up, you know, declined, the door is shut, it's over type of scenario. That's not what's happening right now. So I wanted to kind of break that news, but then I wanted to go over to the Bitcoin chart. So this is the Bitcoin on the hourly. 
I mean, if you just go to the 30 minute, because all of this is just happening, you can just see that 30 minute candle just happened. 15 minute, there it is. So that huge just dip. Now here is where the technical analysis comes in. I want to break this down because this is all happening right now. I noticed a couple of things. Number one is, if you've been watching my analysis lately with Bitcoin, we've been tracking this falling channel uh, to the downside that Bitcoin is broken out of, and we saw support at that white trend line, and then we're pretty much bouncing up towards the target, right? And this target in the similar area of this previous swing high. While that, that's all happening, and, we, and it really looks complete at this point for the most part, but while all that was happening, we've had this upper trend line in yellow kind of created. And now even this news event that just happened, and news events very much play into the, the technical analysis for me. I see it all the time. News events, they throw things off, they throw charts off, but they are trigger events that create structure on the screen. Because whether there's a big news event happening or not, it's, it's just human emotion. That's what's charted here. The, the data, the candles, all the formations, it's a visualization of human emotion on these charts. So right now, we're seeing a visualization of a human emotion. And what's really just kind of interesting to me as we see this play out is this kind of, it's a very ugly lower trend line. It's not perfect, but it's, it's kind of a story of higher lows down here. But what I'm watching right now in the very short term, because I'm, I'm interested when we get these, these headline news events, how, how do markets really respond from an emotional perspective? And so when we have this initially bearish headline, but, but an, an ultra bullish kind of narrative worked in, I'm curious to see how this chart reacts and, and how the markets digest. So from a structure standpoint, we see that Bitcoin fell below this lower trend line very quickly. And what had happened is it actually hit this trend line from a previous pattern that, that is pretty much just complete. And that's a really important trend in terms of Bitcoin. And that's down here below $30,000. So not only is it this trend line, but it's that $30,000 psychological area and Bitcoin bounced off of it. So right now, as it hovers kind of in between that trend line and this yellow trend line, I'm very curious to see what direction in the very short term, and I'm talking about the next hour, two hours going into this afternoon, if Bitcoin can work its way back into the apex of this kind of ascending triangle, or if Bitcoin is actually just going to continue trending down now. Did, did Bitcoin lose its momentum on this chart uh, because of this, this headline? And is it going to be digested in kind of a negative way? If we go over and we just kind of change this to a daily chart, let me zoom out a little bit. Just want to point out, it's just a continued consolidation. I mean, when we start zooming out of that hourly, things become a little bit more clear of what's happening on the macro. Let me even get rid of some of these patterns. It's just a, a clear consolidation, kind of sideways consolidation after Bitcoin being overextended from the 20-day, the 50-day moving averages. And that is just something we, we see so often, just sideways trading to allow these moving averages to pull into Bitcoin. That's kind of what's happening right now either way. But time will tell on the short term, but you can just see the indecisiveness of markets, the emotions of markets. And for me, it's just really something interesting to kind of, to kind of track uh, as, as headlines like this break. So again, BlackRock can still refile for the BTC spot ETF. This news is noise, in my opinion, buying the dip. And that's the question. What are you doing out there, everybody? What are your thoughts in regards to this, this headline that broke today? Uh, really be curious to know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'm trying to bring that breaking news to you. We'll continuously do so. Turn the notifications on so you get these notifications as news breaks and hit that like button on the way out. Your support means a lot. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.